Hello everyone and welcome again to yet another wonderful episode here of Smarticus. As you can see, I've been joined yet again by the absolutely wonderful debonair, not playing a Bond villain this time, Keenan. We've got uh, his, uh, 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 of who we shall remain nameless partner, Nikki. No, really just a fan. Um, and also, uh, joining us yet again, we have the uh, absolutely magnificent Daniel. In fact, I would say that he is a master of the universe. Welcome, your people. Great to have you all back. Uh, for those of you who don't know about the rules of this, it's pretty simple. Each person here gets to ask a question. Once they've asked that question, everybody else gets to answer it. If they get it right, they get a point. If they if they don't get it right, they don't get a point. And uh, if everybody gets it right, the person who asks a question gets no points as well. Now they get a point if less than three others do. So hopefully that means that uh, we'll all manage to get through this one okay. I'm, I'm feeling confident though. I'm pretty sure people will know, well some people will know my answer, but I've got a really bad record of that. But before we get to that, what about we get started with the dance? Um, I'm going to throw the first question actually across to somebody else rather than myself. How about we go with Keenan? Just for a change up. Yeah, Keenan, you can ask the first question. <laughs> Yes, I am Keenan. I'm from Queensland, Southeast Queensland, from Brisbane, and I am exclusively at Welcome to Bowen Hills. So come on down and find out what it's all about. Great game show. Also, you can check us out on the chat line in the Wednesday night online trivia. Great fun all round. You see our illustrious host Daz uh, with Josh along, and also alternatively we can see Justin as well, who's not with us tonight because he is actually hosting which is great to see because we need those venues back Yes. Uh, for you to enjoy everything that's happening there. So, um, I am going to throw out the first question to you now. Um, this is a little bit of a history question, kind Ooh. of. But what held the key to the understanding of the Egyptian hieroglyphics? So what held the key to the understanding of, of the Egyptian hieroglyphics? They found something that unlock that. So, your time starts now. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate you, Kim? Five seconds. Two seconds. One second. Time is up. All right, time is up, time is up, time is up. All right. Okay. Pencils down, hands on heads. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, two people there this time. Yes. <laughs> it's just, it's just usually Josh, but he's not here tonight. So okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go with uh, our first one. Let's start with Dan. Uh, what held the key to the understanding of Egyptian hieroglyphics? I have no idea. I'm guessing a key ring. <laughs> a key ring. Isn't that an animated yes, something movie? That you up in the <laughs> Sorry. It wasn't a key ring an animated movie. <laughs> yeah, something yeah, something you pick up at a, at a souvenir shop <laughs> with a key ring yet. Yeah. If, I, if I was thinking eighties Ghostbusters, I could have said the key master. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Okay. Next up, as she's known on the Wednesday night trivia from representing Grand Central. Okay. I'm probably way off base. Way, way, way off base. But I'm thinking the Rosetta Stone. Oh, the Rosetta Stone. Okay. Yes. The very. I'm going to say it's a stone of some sort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching Daz's face right now. Uh... <laughs> Daz, what do you think? Gee, Keenan, I don't know. What could it possibly be? Something I've been um, told my whole life? I don't know. Some stupid stone. <laughs> of course it's a Rosetta Stone. <sighs> Man. You don't, you, don't, you don't see me saying, 
What do you call it when a lion attacks someone? <laughs> Gory. <laughs> Ah, let's bring it back to basically. Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah, Nick and <laughs> Nick and Derek. Yes, you are correct. It was the Rosetta Stone, really. <laughs> yes. Oh, Rosetta Stone. Oh, Rosetta Stone. That's uh, what you making me go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I deserve that. So, one good turn deserves another. I'm not going to ask a question this round. In fact, we might have somebody else ask it for me. Ah, it's me! Hi! <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know who I am, which is probably all but one of you by now, uh, my name is Josh, and I'm the, uh, I guess, second partner person with Darren. I work very, very closely with him. Yeah. And I have Darren's question right, right here. I have this wonderful, beautiful album in my hands. Ooh. Uh, Kick by Inexcess. Ooh. And, uh... Darren wants to know what the first track on the album is called. Okay, the first track on the album. And now I will go... I'm start... Now. Hmm. Alright. Five seconds to go. Three seconds. Two seconds, one second, and time is up. Oh, aren't you aren't you lucky you weren't in space this time, does we wouldn't be able to see that album? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you kick, sometimes you get kicked. Um, <laughs> Nikki, how about you kick this one off then, and uh, let us know your I'm answer. Gonna go with, I'm going to say really obvious answer. Yep. I'm going to go with kick. <laughs> mm. I don't think they had a song. Now that I've written it. <laughs> they did. They did have a song called Kick. So, <laughs> but was it the first track? I don't know. What about Daniel? What do you think? One of my favourite albums, Guns in the Sky. Guns in the Sky. So, all right. Okay. Okay. And finally, Keenan. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, I'm... <laughs> it was actually one of the very first CDs that I ever bought. Right. Um, and I think, I think Kick was actually track number four. On the uh, CD, did you want to check that if it's right there next to you, guys? Or I don't know I, I, uh, is it right next to me? Allow me to see. <laughs> okay, so track number four it is um, actually. But I need sorry. you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so kick is ten. Oh. Okay. okay, that's a good thing because I was tossing up whether it was need you tonight or was it mystify me. No, sorry. Actually, Mystify Me is not the, the correct answer. Daniel had it with Guns in the Sky. Da -da, guns in the Sky. Da -da. Well done, man. <laughs> awesome album. Shall one we... of my favourites. Yes, definitely. Shall we take the time to acknowledge the fact that Dan actually works for one of the Brisbane's radio stations? Okay, anyway, uh... so moving right along. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Daniel, would you like to... <laughs> Would you like to uh, uh, give us your uh, tell us who you are and give us your next question? Mr. Tour, I'm Daniel. I work for another company, but that's okay. Uh, love Time Out as well. I've played trivia with you guys for many, many years. Uh, I work at Club Services Ipswich on a Thursday night uh, here in uh, Queensland. And my question for tonight is which country? is set to host the 2021 America's Cup Yacht Race. All right, time starts now. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Seconds. Time is up, ladies and gentlemen. We can say that now because we actually have a lady with us tonight. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep on with the theme. Let's go, ladies first. Nikki. <laughs> You're supposed to get a chase first. I went New Zealand. Our brothers across the ditch. All right. Daz? Well, 
I mean, it's only going to be 2021, so I sort of went, there won't be one. Oh, wait. Yachting has social distancing. So, New Zealand. Okay. And Chase Evans. I went to New Zealand too, so if we are all right. No one gets a point, and no one gets a point either way. <laughs> Even if we're all wrong. <laughs> well, everyone is correct. Oh, we're all right. <laughs> it is New Zealand. That's. <laughs> or is it, or... <laughs> Either way, wow, okay, well that means everyone gets a point except for, for Daniel in that one. But that's alright, he's He-Man. So we'll, we'll throw finally to Nikki. I'll, I'll leave all us right. with our final question there. I was going to say, I'm Nikki, um, I'm based in Queensland. Um, as you may have heard, I play the online trivia and also have played it at a few of the places around including Grand Central. And my question is, when did Disneyland open? Mm. I'm stuck. And I'm talking about the one in California. Just to clarify it. Can you give us when the time it starts, Keenan? Oh yeah, we're down to two seconds. <laughs> um, Time is up. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, the Nico, the Nico is speaking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going to start with you, Dan. What do you think? I think it was the fifties. I'm thinking about 1957. Ooh. Okay. Keenan, what do you think? Oh, sorry, Chase, what do you think? <laughs> oh, I thought it was something in uh, a little bit later than that. I'm thinking about rides, I'm thinking about technology and everything. Like that. I'm probably thinking about one of the greatest years of ever that was around was 1975. <laughs> may have seen the birth of Disneyland and definitely saw the birth of your yes, trip, sir. really. <laughs> I like that, yeah. Um, Daz? <laughs> you sound worried. Okay, so I'm going to go pretty well back and stack in the middle of those two and say 1963. I mean, it's a small board after all, uh, Disney, but uh, 1963 is where I went. I was going to say, I think you said you're all wrong. Oh, who, who was the closest? Um... Uh, Daniel was. Okay. He was in the right era. It was actually 1955. Oh. Uh. Do we do we think Daniel deserves a point for being closest? Yes. Well, it's, it's it's actually a rule we haven't actually discussed because it was about a year one. We normally in, in the past episodes we've done like a couple of years either side. Yeah. That's I just don't remember what he said, so I don't know how many we go. Three I think four. he said 57. <laughs> Yes, yeah, 1957. I, yeah. I reckon it was 1957-ish, you know, like like 1927, but correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should have realised it was the same year that Marty McFly went back. So. And I was, I'm going to say around the same time because it was it was July. Oh no, that was October. I was because it was opened in July. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, well. Yeah, he, they would have known about it then, or something. <laughs> Look, thank you everyone for joining us for this uh, for this episode. We hope that you've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed definitely making it for you. Uh, for those of you who have enjoyed it, don't forget to like, like in my. Am I looking at the where the liking thing is? Wherever that yes. is, make sure that you press it. Make sure you tell your friends about this and also about all of our events, both online and in the real world. And if we're not at event, uh, a place near you, make sure you get in contact with us and we'll see if we can do something about that. But in the meantime, I've been joined here by... <laughs> yes, I've been joined here by Keenan, by Nikki and by Daniel. And we hope to catch you on another wonderful episode of Smarticus. Smarticus.